Hey guys, welcome to this episode up from the pages of WF Magazine. I'm Anthony. This is Collectors Entertainment Network, and we're going to finish out 1992 with the December 1992 issue with the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels on the cover. But before we get into that, guys, I'd like to ask you, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please comment down below. Let me know your WWF Magazine memories. Please share this video with anyone you think may like it as well. And go ahead and give this video a like because that helps a lot too. Also, go on over to Facebook. Join the Federation Nation Facebook group and start showing off your vintage WWF collections. I want to see them. Whether it's the magazines, whether it's the figures, whether it's games, whether it's video games, whether it's the cups, whether it's your championship belt whether it's your posters, whatever it is, I want to see your vintage WF collections. And I'm sure everyone else in the group wants to see it as well. All right, that's enough of an intro. We're going to finish out 1992. Shawn Michaels, the Heartbreak Kid, on the cover. Let's get into the pages. All right, guys, here we go. WF Magazine, December 1992. Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, on the cover. We've got Shawn Michaels preparing to wear the gold. Survivor Series previews of Thanksgiving Eve's hottest tradition. Savage and Ramon, Madness and Machismo. The British Bulldog surveying the foes ready to pound him. And Bret Hart, new WWF champion. How exciting is that? And of course we open it up and here again, second month in a row, you've got... Coliseum Video presents Own Your Own WF Wrestling Video Library for only $9.95 each. We've got the Immortal Hulk Hogan, The Ultimate Warrior, Fan Favorites, Hottest Matches, WrestleMania's Greatest Matches, and World Tour. And I got this issue on November 7th, 1992. Here, of course, is your information center, all your publishing stuff. And there you go, the WWF Survivor Series program on sale at your newsstands now. That is that the cover? I don't know if I have that one. I usually had most of them back then, but I think maybe I was starting to fall off uh, with the programs at this point. I have to go back, check it out. If I've got it, you'll see it one of these days. All right, around the ring, and they're talking about the bad guy, Razor Ramon. And of course, join the official WWF 9394 fan club. Perfect gift for the holidays. Fan forum. Looks like it's nails. And then uh, Electronic Gaming Monthly. I've never seen one of these ads in WWF Magazine. So I think that is new. And of course, we've got Brainstorms with Bobby the Brain Heenan. They've been like alternating. It's been like Bobby Heenan one month and then Mr. Perfect the next. And of course, here is your... You know, subscribe to WF Magazine, the perfect holiday gift. In fact, give the number one gift this holiday season. All right, Newsbeat. We've got a personal message from Randy Savage to his fans. El Matador's pumped and Nasty Boy's new maneuver. Personality profile, Max Moon. I've seen him on some stuff, but I don't really remember him. But, I don't know, maybe I tried to forget. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Columbia House Music, 1993. The art, the science, the value. Any 8 CDs or 12 cassettes for one penny. Here's a talk with Shawn Michaels. The WWF interview. Of course, he's on the cover. Lots of times the person on the cover is the subject of the interview. Not always. Definitely not always. But it is often that it's the, uh, the interview is the person on the cover. Alright, Battle of the Titans. Tatanka tangles with the Mountie. Anybody out there know where this match was uh, shown? Coliseum Video, Primetime Wrestling... Superstars, where was it, guys? Let me know in the comments below if you know where it was and how uh, we can watch it now. All right. The Mountie was eventually disqualified for bringing his 80,000-volt shock stick in the ring. Well, spoiler alert. I mean, come on now. All right. Here's an ad for some Konami games. 
It looks like for the Super Nintendo. In fact, here's more. It's like a three-page ad. Look at that. Boom. Konami. That's interesting. Never seen one of those before, but you got to get those advertising dollars to keep it going, right? All right, nothing left. Macho Man had one thing left, and Razor took it. Was that, uh, what was that? I'm not I mean, Ric Flair took the championship belt, but I do understand that Razor uh, was involved in uh, helping the Nature Boy get the belt, so maybe that's what they're talking about. Here's some more on that. And let's keep going. Where are we at? WWF Trivia. All right. Sarge says, places celebrity watch and odds and ends and here we go world wrestling federation presents posters for the hottest posters publication of its kind wf posters 4 is now available at newsstands everywhere this issue features giant posters of wf champion rick flair the macho man crush and hacksaw jim duggan check out posters 4 for the best of the wwf but they should have changed this because wf champion was Bret Hart, they even say so on the cover. Let's see if they get to that in here. In fact, there we go. Stop the presses. Bret Hitman Hart beats Flair for the WWF title. This, of course, Bret Hart's first title run, beating the Nature Boy there in the fall of 92. That, I know, was a Coliseum video match. I think they eventually, did they eventually show it on like prime time or something? I don't know. But I know it was sort of like an exclusively prime time match. All right. And six symptoms of WF wrestling withdrawal the cures. Prime time wrestling. Speaking of which, and that is Mondays at 9 p.m. on the USA Network. All right. Survivor Series, the Thanksgiving Eve spectacular. You've got the Ultimate Maniacs versus Ric Flair and Razor Ramon's team. You've got the Nightstick match, Big Boss Man vs. Nails, the Coffin match, The Undertaker vs. Kamala, Intercontinental title match, The British Bulldog vs. The Mountie. You've got Survivor Series tag team match, The Natural Disasters and The Nasty Boys vs. Money Inc. and The Beverly Brothers, Bret Hitman Hart vs. Shawn Michaels, which now is that a WWF title match, right? Like, that was already signed, but now he's the champ, right? High Energy versus the Head Shrinkers and Tatanka versus the model Rick Martel. All right, Bob Backlund Wrestling's Salvation. Look, they even show you an old picture of him with the old championship belt, the big green. Pretty cool. Like, they were bringing him back, I think, as a face, and then I don't know why he went to that whole, like, crazy Mr. Backlund character. But it looks like, yeah, he's coming back. He's wrestling brawler. Like, he's coming back as, like, the, uh, you know, the, the old champ, you know? Interesting stuff. See, I forgot about that. I thought he just kind of came back crazy. But I guess he came back, uh, you, uh, you know, let me know in the comments below. Do you remember how he came back? He came back as, like, you know, that all-American Bob Backlund wrestling guy that he was. And then it just didn't work. So then they went and made him, you know, crazy heel. I don't know. All right, Bulldog under... Siege, can Britannia rule the WF's uncertain waves? All right. You got the model Rick Martel, the Mountie, Shawn Michaels. I guess those are all the people getting in line for a title. Shot from the Bulldog. All right, Private Eye, the Undertaker constructs Kamala's Survivor Series casket. Ooh, of course, Paul Bearer there. All right, here's more of that. Let's show you. And the other side. Look, it makes it look like, you know, Kamala's uh, body paint. Good stuff. Ico Pro. The less said about that, the better, because there was plenty said about it in the 90s, and nobody really cared about it. All right, <laughs> the World Wrestling Federation Lowdown. Flair and Perfect go live with Regis and Kathy Lee. WWF in concert, Coliseum video, Sarge attends Jimmy Connor's birthday bash, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and hospitality in London done WWF style. Let's 
go to Viewpoint by Nails. And of course, you've got WWF Crossword with Papa Shango in the middle. All right, and up close, this looks like, uh, what was this, when they were uh, filming a prime time? All right, I, re I just read the caption. and actually took place on uh, WBF Body Stars, so uh, that's interesting. He visited a stunt, uh, like a stuntman camp, and, I, and he took the plunge and did, uh, did a stunt. All right, and live only on pay-per-view Thanksgiving Eve, Wednesday, November 25th, the World Wrestling Federation presents Survivor Series. You've got your main event, the Ultimate Maniacs versus Ric Flair and Razor Ramon, the Nightstick match, the Coffin match, Survivor Series tag team title match, the Natural Disasters, and Nasty Boys versus Money Inc. and Beverly Brothers. No acknowledgement so far of Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels for the WWF championship now i know he had just won it and this ad was made beforehand and i do understand that like the belt was just kind of thrown on a hitman you know um so they didn't really have time to prep it all right and there you go there's the back all the right moves wf super wrestlemania new on genesis and that is a cool ad right there gotta see if i can find this uh this video game because i do still have my genesis i also have a super nintendo if it is also available on that all right so that is gonna do it for the wf magazine december 1992 issue with sean michaels the heartbreak kid on the cover all right guys that is the december 1992 issue with sean michaels on the cover, we have finished another year of WWF Magazine. Guys, again, I'm going to ask you, please subscribe to the channel. Please comment down below. Please like, please share, and definitely go on over to Facebook and join the Federation Nation group. I want to see your collections over there. All right, like I said, we finished another year of WWF Magazine here with the December 1992 issue, Shawn Michaels on the cover. Next episode is going to be the January 1993 issue with The Undertaker and Nails on the cover. But until then, guys, have a good one.